Hey, what's up guys? My name is Bo Skitsko. Welcome back to my channel, the Stay Sore channel. Now I know this is a health and fitness channel and yet you're reading the title which says travel vlog. It's simply because I'm trying something new. And by the way, I've been carrying a baby strapped to my chest for 32,000 steps up in the mountains and parks and deep underground caves. So that should count as a workout, right? And if you ever go to Chattanooga, Tennessee, that's where we went for like two and a half days, I'm gonna give you some tips of how to see some cool things, what to do, what not to do, and enjoy the nature that we filmed a little bit. Now, we arrived day one, midday. The first thing we did, we went to Lookout Mountain. It's a big mountain and from all the sides of that mountain, there's different things to do. So let's go over it. It's Ruby Falls. You buy tickets and then an elevator and a guide drive with you a little over a thousand feet underground. They first show you a little video of the guy who discovered the cave, which was kind of impressive. Little tip, if you're claustrophobic, might not be the best thing for you. And at the end of the half a mile is a big, 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 deep underground cave waterfall. That thing was super pretty and super impressive. Really cool sight to see. And uh, then you walk half a mile back. So the whole thing takes you about an hour-ish. That was totally worth it. When you're done with this, a lot of people don't notice it, but there's stairs up on the roof of the castle so if you want to see it walk up there because it's easy to miss from ruby falls we went to rock city garden once again you have to pay for the entrance to the park but that thing was just phenomenal it's nature made rock formations with teeny tiny improvements by humans it's not too like humanized which i kind of like very wild nature-ish this stuff is like super, super narrow. It's hard to get through here. Check this out. I can't go like parallel. I have to go sideways. Huge waterfalls. Tiny little bridges super high up in the skies. That park is also famous for the place on the very top where you can see seven states from there. Seven states of America you can see from the top, which is really cool. On top of that park is also a little semi-park, which is Fairyland Caverns. So you can walk around that little Fairyland or you can walk inside, it's inside a cave. If you watch the footage, it's hard to see because it's dark inside, but the fairies and the princesses and all that stuff is lit up. Super, super awesome for kids, but also for adults. Even I was impressed and I actually enjoyed it a lot. And just the rock formations and the views from the top are just, just beautiful. And then we went to our rented house, which was again in the mountains. On one side, you have a big mountain. On the other side, you have a river. So even the drive there was pretty. We rented that house on the app Verbo. And it was almost the same price as a nice hotel room, but we had a whole house in the mountains, in the wild. Private playground in the backyard, three bedrooms. So it was fantastic for a family setting since we had three kids with us. Day two, we went once again back to a different part of the Lookout Mountain. We went to the Incline Railway and that thing is actually pretty cool. Yes, you have to pay a little fee to ride it to the top of the mountain, but at certain points it gets so steep that you get a little bit of goosebumps slash butterflies in your stomach. It's actually a cool experience. I think it's totally worth going there. It's like a 15 minute drive up there. And then once again, if you get to the station on top of the mountain, many people just walk out of the station and leave. But I really, really would recommend to not miss the stairs by the station and just walk on the roof of the station, which we were the only family, the only people up there. So I'm assuming most people didn't even notice that. And the view from there 
is just really, really worth it. You can see the whole city, parts of other mountains, parts of a river, and it's just really, really cool. So when you walk out of that railway station, about 10 minutes and you get to another iconic place, which is Point Park. And the whole park is dedicated to part of the Civil War. It's a historic place where people had to protect that mountain from the top and there's cannons, all kinds of explanations of what happened. But it's a very small park and you have to pay to get into that park, which I believe was like $10 per adult and the kids were free. If you're not a history geek, might not be the best time and money spent. So that was kind of like a two and a half out of five stars ish. Still cool to see if you have extra time. From there, we went downtown. And what we did downtown, we, we were driving around and just checking out the city, but we went to another iconic place, which is the Tennessee Aquarium. That thing it was actually really big and really cool. It had two separate buildings and then an IMAX movie theater. If you buy tickets for the aquarium and an add-on $8 ticket for the movie, uh, they show you like a 45-minute 3D IMAX super, super realistic movie about nature it's 45 minutes long and we loved it it was super entertaining and very very pretty the aquarium itself it's two buildings one building is the ocean building and one building is the river building so you walk through like tunnels of glass and then all the sharks and all the octopuses and all that cool stuff is kind of swimming on top of you next to you totally worth it i believe Downtown as well, there's bridges going over the river. And one of the iconic bridges is Walnut Street Bridge. A lot of people walk over them, but uh, the kids getting a little fuzzy. So we just drove over them and watched the whole situation from the car. Then day three, we only had half a day before we were leaving back home. We decided to go to the Railroad Museum, another iconic place according to Google. We went there, we saw a lot of cool trains there, but if you ever go there, check the schedule because they have actually a train pick you up and then take you on a big, like I think one hour tour of something cool. And we didn't see it because when we arrived, the train just left. We didn't know there's a schedule. We just decided to look at the trains that were there and you can climb them, you can look at them. Otherwise, uh, check the schedule. The two places that we didn't get to see but wanted to because they looked pretty cool online were number one, Raccoon Mountain, which is caves and mountains. But when we called, they said children under three are not allowed, so we didn't go. And the second place is uh, Creative Discovery Museum, which is a children's museum. But we were afraid that our kids would get stuck there and we just didn't have like half a day to dedicate just to that particular place. But it seemed really cool online, so check it out if you have time. Now guys, if you love this kind of uh, content, these kinds of videos, leave a comment down below and let me know if you like uh, not just health and fitness, but maybe some behind the scenes and travel stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you got entertained, got to see some cool travel ideas and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, stay sore.